I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today I have yet another seasoning blend to share with you. We're going to make Creole seasoning salt free style. Let's go see how this all comes together. Okay, we're just going to go over all of the ingredients and just like with all of my spice blends, if you don't have one of the ingredients, don't sweat it. But it will say, if you don't have paprika, you probably shouldn't make it. You should just wait until you have it. All the other things, you can, you can mix and match. You can kind of be pretty fluid with this. It's not a big deal. But these are pretty much the components and the flavor profile of Creole, of the Creole cuisine, let's say. So we're going to start off with four tablespoons of ground paprika. That's a sweet paprika. Two tablespoons of onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, basil, marjoram, and parsley. A tablespoon of thyme, black pepper, and cayenne. That's pretty simple. Now, just like every other time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to gather up all of this goodness. The best that we can. Sometimes this likes to get a little tricky. So, if you can, try and hold it as tightly as you can so that it all goes right into the jar. Then you can just toss that out, pop a lid on it, and give it a good shake. Now, you have a couple of ways you can do. You can leave it just like this. You can pop this in your coffee grinder and grind it up so you have a finer consistency. That's entirely up to you. I did a Creole seasoning a long time ago, five years to be precise. This one is a bit different. That one I did run through my coffee mill, and frankly, I like it a little bit on the naturaler side. Naturaler, that's a new word, mm -hmm. okay? Don't don't rag on me for my grammar. Um, this one is also salt free, the other one was not. I explained in the past the salt free thing I like a lot better simply because I like to control the salt that goes into my dish, and I like to salt my dishes in layers. So this is gonna allow me to do that. I'm gonna be using this in an upcoming video, so you'll have to stay tuned to see what that's all about. Um, yeah, so that's Creole seasoning, super easy. And I bet a lot of you have these ingredients already on hand. It's super easy to whip up and have whenever you're ready for it. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So I would like to say thank you for joining me today and watching how I make Creole seasoning. I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.